Once you're ready to use the Dear Jane add-on, you would open up your EQ software and you could either go to open an existing project or up on the menu, choose file, open project. Now this is the project helper window and right now we're on the open an existing project tab. Down on the left, you're gonna to wanna to use a scroll bar until you get to the Ds and that's where DJ1, DJ2, 3, 4, and 5 are listed. These are the five project files that get installed with your software. So Dear Jane Quilt is the actual Dear Jane Classic Quilt. There are different options here that we will get into in different documentation and different videos. But for now, we want to open the Dear Jane Quilt Master. So go ahead and click OK. And now that the project is open, you can see the project sketchbook is here. And I'm just gonna click edit because we wanna do something before we get into the project sketchbook. So go ahead and click edit and that will put the quilt on the screen. Now the very first most important thing you wanna do is save this project with a new file name. If you don't save this project with a new file name, you will be editing the master project and you could potentially be overwriting and deleting the quilts and the blocks and anything else that you might wanna use later. So it's very important that you save this as something else with a different name. So I am going to suggest, in your documentation in that PDF that I showed you, there was a suggestion to name it DJ My Dear Jane Quilt. Now, I started it with DJ because I want it to fall in the same list as the other Dear Jane projects. So it's, you can name it whatever you'd like, but I recommend naming it DJ something. So go ahead and click save. And now it does have a new name. So if you went into the sketchbook and deleted this quilt, it's not a big deal. We can always get it back with the master. So that's why it's very important to save it as a new name. Right now we have the quilt on our screen, but I wanna go back to the project sketchbook to talk about what is all inside this project. So click the view project sketchbook button. And here on the quilt section, you can see the Dear Jane, the classic Dear Jane quilt. It says that here over here in the note card section. Now you might not be able to see too much of this bar. Your, your sketchbook might be smaller which you can always scale that and make it bigger if you'd like. I'm just dragging the corner. So this is the classic Dear Jane quilt. There are three quilts in this project. So I'm gonna scroll over. This is the second quilt. This is the classic Dear Jane quilt with layer one blocks only. And I'll explain what that means here in a minute. And then this last one is just the blank layout. So let's go down to back down to the quilt and let's talk about how this is set up. Now this quilt is set up a little bit differently than just a typical quilt and that's because of the requirements of this border. So let's hop over to the borders tab and let's talk about that real quick. So right now there's, there are two borders in this quilt. There's a tiny little quarter inch border along the outside of the quilt center and then border two is this blocks border. It's an eight inch blocks border with 13 blocks all the way around all four sides. So those are the two borders in the borders tab. Now we know that there's a scallop border. In EQ, that scallop border isn't technically a quote unquote border. It's more of a virtual border because we've set that onto layer two. So let's go back to the design tab and I'll talk to you about what that means. So on the design tab, we have these layers at the bottom, layer one and layer two. Layer three is for the quilting stencils, which we don't have any in this project. So we're just working with layer one and layer two. So if I click this eye icon right here, I'm gonna turn off everything on layer one and just hides it so that you can see what's on layer two. So when looking at this, I can see that all of the plain triangles and the scalloped border are all set on layer two. The pieced triangles and the kites and the center blocks are all set on layer one. 
I'm going to turn layer one back on and turn layer two off. When I turn layer two off, that hides everything that was on layer two. So you can see that the plain triangles and the, and the scalloped border are all hidden right now. So you can go back and forth that way to see what's on which layer. And the reason the quilt is set up that way is because it's easier to create these piece blocks as rectangles than it is triangles and set them into these rectangular spaces in this border. So instead of setting triangles into these, these spaces without a background, that wouldn't work out as well. So these blocks are actually rectangles with these gray outside patches as borders. And we don't want that seam line here in between each one of these and I can zoom in. So what we do is we cover them up with the plain triangle. I'll move this out of the way so you can see. So that plain triangle is just covering up what's underneath on layer two or on layer one, I'm sorry. So that's how that's set up. So now that you know a little bit more about how the quilt is set up, you can do, you can play around with it and make changes to it. Um, please watch our other videos and look at our other documentation for different tips and using the quilt in the software.